Happy Saturday, everybody. I thought I would do another video um, on some products that I've used up um, because I'm taking um, some advice from Teresa NC1, another YouTuber that I really like, who does a use it up challenge. So I've started using things up, which is a good thing. Um, one thing I'm really frustrated about today, and it's no one's fault, um, is the fact that my WordPress uh, doesn't seem to be working. And I have at least four things that I really like to draft up um, with pictures and everything that I need to uh, get on these blog posts. Um, but I can't because the host isn't uh, responding. It's just very slow. I can't get anything done and it just won't load. So I just gave up. So I thought I'd do a quick video um, about some of the items that are going to be or are going to eventually be on my blog. Um, I just don't know when. So we'll start with empty products. Um, the first thing that I'm really going to miss is my, and I still have it, just a tiny drop left, is my soothing cleansing water from Marcel. Um, I've used this as an eye makeup remover, um, and I think that's what it's supposed to be used for. I think you can use it for everything, but I, yeah, face, eye, and lip. Um, I use it for eyes, and I absolutely love this. I did recently purchase, they have a new, Marcel came out with a new gel um, eye makeup remover, and I like that, but if I had it to do over again, I probably just would have gotten another one of these. Um, I like the gel, but trying to get your mascara off with the gel um, is difficult. And if you get too much product or actually any amount of product of, of the gel type in your eye, it just stings uh, really badly. And with this, I find it's much easier to just hold on your eye and then just kind of swipe off. So um, I like the gel. Um, I'll be doing a review on the gel, but I like the cleansing, soothing water better. Next thing I use up that I'm really going to uh, be sad about is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. So this is uh, basically a face oil that uh, you put on your face and it um, is a makeup remover or just a general... Um, I don't know what do they say. No, it's just it's what you would use if you were using a dermatological system. This would be the first step. You would uh, put this on. It kind of dissolves and breaks down makeup or dirt or anything that's really you know on your face. You rinse it off and then you use your cleanser. And I really like this. I got this at an event that I went to, and I I really like it. Um, it's nice because when you get home at the end of the day and you've had full face of makeup on as I do um, every day, it's nice to take that first step and kind of break it down and get your skin ready to um, be cleansed and toned, moisturized, and things and things after that. So I like that. Um, something else that's not quite finished but down to the nub is my Kate Winslet Lancome La Absolu Rouge in 01, which is clear. Um, I've actually been using this as kind of a pre-treatment, and you can see it's almost down to nothing. Um, I use this before I put on any lipstick. I apply it, let it sink in, um, and then put my lip products on, and I really I enjoy this. It's very soft. It's very moisturizing. And um, it really helps my um, lip products apply more smoothly once it um, absorbs. And finally, the other thing that I finished up is my Miracle 10 Light Serum. This actually is like an orangey color. And you might be able to see a little bit of that in the tube. This is great. Um, I always use serum on my face. I use it twice a day. Uh, the only thing that... I'm a little hung up on is that it's it's a light serum and it really is a light serum and I'm used to serums being a tad heavier um, and a little more moisturizing. This is nice. Um, I may use this again in the summer um, when I don't want such heavy moisture on my skin because it does the trick but um, I find that I have to kind of um, use something else on top of it to really kind of give it that boost in the winter time. So I like that. The other thing that I'm really wanting to do a blog post on, but um, since my little rant earlier about the uh, WordPress problem I'm having, I'm just going to talk about it really quick. I, I did refer to it in my, in my previous video, but this is um, the gift bag that I got from the Essence launch. And I'll take the products out and show them to you. I... I re I'm really impressed by Essence, I have to say. Um, this is, I think... 
if I if I can be so bold to say this is I believe this is going to be Canada's answer to um, Wet and Wild. Now we do have Wet and Wild cosmetics in Canada, but we don't have the same selection that the U.S. has, and I get jealous when I'm looking at girls in the U.S. and they're reviewing limited edition Wet and Wild products on their blog and we just don't get them in Canada and even though I am American and I have an opportunity to get those products when I go home you know I'm not going to be running back and forth and I don't have the luxury of running back and forth across the border every time I want to get some limited edition Wet n Wild products um, so if you're listening Wet n Wild please send Canada more products but in the meantime um, Essence has a great selection very affordable and uh, so far I'm not wearing any of the products today I just literally opened the packages today but um, so far when I've swatched or tested these are really great pigment wise um, the first one is a silky touch blush and the color that was in my gift pack is 30 it's called secret it girl and it, it's a coralish, um, maybe with a touch of pink and some gold shimmer in it. And um, I like this. I tried this at the actual event, and it's surprising because when you look at it in the package, um, I looked at it and thought, no, this, this absolutely won't work for me. But when I um, tried it out at the event, it actually has a touch of pink and a little bit of gold. And I really um, I like that. It's different than anything I have which is surprising because I feel like I have almost everything. Then uh, standard black eyeline, eye pencil, and this is their long lasting eye pencil and this is 01 Black Fever. That's another thing I like about Essence. I really like the um, names of the products. Um, Secret It Girl, Black Fever, there's a couple other ones that, they're just clever names. Then they have uh, the Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadow, and this is Glammy Goes To. This is number two. This, um, I can't tell if this reminds me of more of a paint pot. I'm going to say this is more of a paint pot, and it's um, actually very, oh, I can't even get that. That was a bad place to put that. Um, I can't even get the color really to show you. It has the texture of a paint pot, um, but you kind of have to really stick your finger in there to get it going. So that's what comes out, and it reminds me of, um, that's my dog's dish. It reminds me of a MAC uh, painterly with a little bit of gold. But it's, it's nice. It's nice. I might use this, try this out as a base. And it, it's also reminiscent of one of the shades, the powder shades in the Naked palette, the original Naked palette. Not bad. Um, next, I got a an eyeshadow uh, quad in number eight, Would You Mind? And these are all um, kind of green, green and green gold shadows. Again, you know, not something that, I would pick for myself, but um, nice colors, really great colors. Um, so I'm going to try a, a look with this and see how it uh, looks on my eyes. I'm trying to show you everything. And uh, got some mattifying powder, mattifying compact powder in 07 translucent. That'll be nice, especially in the summer. Lola, shh. Nail polish, um, gray. Actually, I don't know if you'd call this grayish. I think we'd call this grayish. This is number 34, Walk of Fame. These are actually, um, I was very surprised by these. Now, I have a uh, shellac on, so I'm not, I didn't try any of these, but some of my um, friends that were at the event were trying them. Really great color in one coat. Um, tiny bottle. Not my favorite, but great color selection. They have um, almost every color in the rainbow, it seems. Um, and I like the color that they gave me. And I actually have a color very similar to this on my toes right now. So once I take that off, maybe I'll try this just for staying power to see how it goes. Then I got an XXXL Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Candy, which again, 
not a color I would pick um, just by looking at the display and it does have some shimmer in it but when I put it on my um, hand to try it out it just it's something nice that I would put over top of a lipstick that may just be too bright on its own in fact I probably should have tried it over this um, this is a Revlon lip butter and Revlon lip butters I, I they're just not doing it for me no matter how hard I try people are in love with them I'm just not I'd rather have a lipstick a gloss or a balm any day over over these they're they're just nothing special for me Lola finally the product I'm most excited about is the I love extreme volume mascara um, not only the packaging attracted me but if you've read my blog before and read my post on mascaras you know that the number one thing I look for in a mascara well one of the number one things is um, a big flexible fat brush and this definitely has it so again big fat brush flexible um, it really looks looks great and I just opened this so I'm not wearing it now but I can't wait to try it and I can't wait to blog about it once my blog is um, back on track so that's my Saturday so far. Um, I'm probably going to go get lunch soon and I'm going to treat myself to a hamburger today with a lot of stuff on it. So I hope you're having a good weekend and I hope my blog will be back up soon because I really want to post my giveaways because um, I believe I told you yesterday or in my previous video, which was yesterday, uh, that I'm posting at least four giveaways in the next two weeks. So stay tuned because the blog will be back up as soon as I can possibly get it up. And I hope you have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.